Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I'll show you how to change the color of an image instantly like this on your iPad. I assume there are times you want to see an object in a different color, her clothes in blue or yellow for instance. Using your iPad, this can be done easily, so even those who don't really know much about design, this tutorial will be a must watch and I want you to remember how to do these things. The app we'll use today is called Affinity Photo. This design app is rather meant for professional use, which costs around $20, but it's got so many features and it's a very helpful app to have. So those who use this app for the first time may find it difficult as there are so many buttons and things to be done, but what we will be doing today, which is to change the color of a specific area, is really easy, and I'm pretty sure anyone can do it, so those who haven't used Affinity Photo yet, I hope this tutorial will encourage you to get one. I assume there are some of you who already have it, yet still struggle to make use of it, so please watch this video until the end. Alright, let's start. I want to start with something simple before showing you how to change the color of the clothes. Once you open Affinity Photo, click on the plus button at the upper right. And here you can find an option that says camera roll, so tap it. This should take you over to your camera roll, so this time I'm going to use an image of this cherry. In Affinity Photo, you can find a toolbar on the left, so you can find options including eraser and arrow tool, and you can trim an image from here as well. Here you have a property panel on the right. This is where you can set the layer, color, brush type, etc. At the top, you have this thing called a mode panel. So here you can find options such as photo mode, selection mode, roll mode, and distort mode. And as you switch your mode, the tool panel on the left side also changes as well. This time, we'll select this photo mode at the very left to change the color. To change the color, it's really easy. Select the third option from the top in the property panel on the right, which we call the adjustment tool. And in this adjustment tool, you can find this one called HSL, the third one from the bottom here. So tap this. This way, a new adjustment layer, HSL, should be added here at the top in the layer panel. Double tap here, and a panel like this should pop up at the bottom right here. And by setting options here, you can alter the color. Touch this rainbow icon where it should show you the slider rainbow colors, and as you move it to both sides, the color changes as you can see. But since this isn't something we want to do this time, tap with two fingers to go back. What we want to do this time is to change the color of a specific part of an image only, so I'll show you how to do that from here. Tap the rainbow button mentioned earlier, and if I want to change the part in red only for instance, move this rainbow slider while keeping this red button selected. This way, as you can see, this part that's coloring red switches to a different color like purple and blue. The color of the stem as well as that of the background remain the same. For saturation, the higher it is, the more vivid it gets, and the lower it is, the more black and white it gets. For brightness at the very bottom, the higher it is, the lighter it gets, and the lower it is, the darker it gets. So if you set it zero, it's completely black. But anyway, this is where you can set the color according to your preferences. I want to make this cherry look like a blueberry, so I'll select blue, slightly lower the saturation as well as the brightness. This will make the pot coloring blue kind of dull, making it look even more realistic. In case you want to change the background color, which is emerald green right now, select this emerald green button. This time it will be this one called cyan. Select it and move the slider right here. This way you can change the color for the background only. If you want to change the color of this cherry stem, grab green or yellow, and I'm going to set yellow this time, 
And as you move the slider to both sides, only the color of the stem changes. Now this cherry that's got a strange color is complete. By turning on or off the HSL option in the layer panel, you can see your image of before and after. So make sure to set this off in case you want to see the original image. Okay, now let me show you how to change the color of her clothes. If you go to the property panel on the right and select the third one from the top, you can find adjustment tool. And there, click on HSL, the third one from the bottom. Now it should be added as a new layer here with this panel display at the bottom. Select this rainbow button right here, and since I work on the part coloring red this time, select the red button. Then move the slider for saturation to both sides. This way, as you can see, the color changes. But since I changed the color for some parts I didn't want in a different color, including her skin, her lips, as well as her accessories, let me go ahead and fix them. To do so, there is this rainbow circle on the left. And there should be these four dots as you can see. These basically indicate that I have color changes that range from purple, red, orange to yellow. So move this point here in the yellow section towards the red one. This way you can change the red color only while keeping her skin color the same. So as you set the color range right here, narrow down the red section on purpose and change the color so that you can change the color of a specific area only. This is pretty good already, but in case you still work on her skin color, I suggest using this thing called masks. When using masks, make sure the HSL adjustment option is selected. And select the mask layer from the plus button. This way, a mask layer should be added below right here like this. It should pop up as you click on this triangle right here. Now grab a brush for this mask layer, this time a black one. As you trace the mask layer with a black brush, the part you trace will be hidden. For instance, since her lips are purple in color right now, as I trace them in black, the part I trace will be hidden. And now we should be able to see the original color. In the same way, since her skin looks a bit purple in color, trace them in black to have its original color back. So this is pretty much what mask is all about. For anyone who doesn't really get it, I've done a video on it a little while ago, teaching you all about masks. And I'll leave the link to it down below, so it might be a good idea to watch that one first and come back here. Alright, just like this, now her clothes are purple instead of red. I assume there are some of you who want to have more variations of color, so I will teach you how to do that here. Tap on the three dots at the upper left, where you can find a button that says Duplicate. As you click on it, a new HSL adjustment layer gets added to the top right here. So now you have the same layer at here, and what I'm doing now is to set the one at the very top display and the second one hidden. You can change the color for the new layer you just added like this, so give it a try if you can. This time I'll set a light green. So now I have this adjustment layer newly added at the top set in light green, and the second one set in purple. Does it make sense? So the top layer in light green, and the bottom one in purple. So this is how you can add color variations. In the same way, you can duplicate add a new HSL adjustment layer and set a different color such as blue and yellow. Having multiple layers like this will make it easier for you to export a different color layer too. So please make use of this feature or duplicate the adjustment layer.
Just like this, I managed to have 4 different color variations of this image. At last, I want to show you a way to export each of these before I end. To export, there is an export tab at the upper left. Click on the export button. And as you can see, you can export in different formats. So this time select JPEG, click on share button at the bottom left, which will then show you a button that says save in camera roll. So this is how you can save your images in your camera roll. So like this, as you export by switching these layers in different colors, you can create four layers for your image in different colors. So please make use of this. Alright, that's all for today. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments regarding my tutorial today in the comments section down below. Just like this video, I make a lot of tutorial videos teaching you some creative ways to use your iPad. So those who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button down below. I also run my online community called iPadMade. It's an online community for iPad users and iPad lovers, and now we have over 800 members. And we share pretty much anything that has to do with iPads every day and also do a live tutorial session once a week. So if you're interested, please check it out. I actually got the idea of this tutorial from one of my members who told me that her presentation went really well as she kept changing the color of some objects in the image she used. And hearing that I wanted to share about it with you all watching my YouTube videos too. And that's why I decided to make this video. I'll leave the link to iPad Make Community down below too, so please check it out. Alright, this is really it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!